What's up, y'all? It's your Ramona Shadow Boy from Bloodshot Records. Um, and apparently, I'm not allowed to take a break and train for two fucking weeks, which I need to be doing. Which I was training and practicing all fucking day long up until a few minutes ago. When one of my closest friends, who is somebody that I am working on getting together with, not going to lie, like we are talking, you know, day by day, and then slowly getting to that point. But, uh, yeah, basically what this dude did, if you guys don't know, the guy's name is Christopher. Not you, Chris friend, like a different Chris. Um, the guy's profile link is actually in the description. Now, you guys are probably thinking, like, what did this guy do? Well, from what Nadia said and from what she showed me, this guy literally had the balls. Mind you, while I'm sitting down practicing, getting ready for next week, for my first actual professional, you know, gaming style race competition, I'm sitting there practicing, training, doing whatever I can to get ready, right? Well, this dude has the fucking balls while I'm training and practicing to take the picture of me and my little sister, Lissa, where I'm wearing, like, the gray and the maroon shirt. And this dude had the balls to take that picture Put it on his, like, distort it and put it on his profile and then make fun of me. Like, he's some sort of hard ass. The dude's name is Christopher Tuttlerow. His profile link is in the description. But I confronted this guy on him. I confronted this guy head on. I'm like, yo, why the fuck did you do this? What you did wasn't right. The dude sits there and fucking denies everything. When I have full, uh, I mean, I have full fledged screenshots and of this guy fucking, you know, trying to bash on me, and you know, I I really didn't want to, you know, have to do this because you know, I've got shit I'm trying to do for next week. This guy, he basically bashed on me to the point where I didn't, I really didn't want to fucking do this, but the guy left me no fucking choice but to call him out. And this dude thinks that he can kick my ass? Bro, you don't know who the fuck you're talking to, okay? Do you not realize that I can lyrically fucking murder you and get away with it? Like, do you not realize who my connections are? And get this. The guy's been in and out of the psych ward, literally. The guy's been in a fucking padded room and straight jacket over the years. Because this guy is so off his fucking rocker. He's fucking mental. Like, I want to feel bad for the guy, but I can't. Especially when a perverted old fuck like you attacks my family after taking one of my pictures and then using it and then sitting there and denying it? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Like I said, I I didn't want to do this, but the guy thinks I can't fucking murk him lyrically, but God, I hate doing this to an old man. But you are a psychopath. Drunk piece of shit that joined to this point. So you know what? Your lyrical death, that's on you, my dude. And you know what? Nah, you know what? I ain't even going to give the dude the satisfaction of doing it live. I'm going to surprise this guy because I got something in store for y'all that'll put an end to this guy.
but this guy sits there and calls me a redneck. Well, bro, I'm I'm glad to be a fucking redneck, all right? I was raised in the fucking woods of Washington State most of my goddamn life. And then I was raised in the South for the rest of my life. So, yeah, I'm a fucking redneck. So fucking what? And I don't care if you're 20, 30, 40, or 50, man. I don't give two fucks. I really don't. Like, you want to talk shit about me and say I'm a redneck? Hey, thanks for the compliment, man. I know I'm a redneck. I'm fucking proud to be a redneck. But the fact that you took that picture of me and my little sister and then used it to not only attack me, but my family directly, that does not sit well with me. You can attack me all you fucking want. I don't give two fucks. But when you attack my family, dude, you're asking for a fucking ass kicking right then and there. And you know what? That's exactly what I'm going to deliver to your ass. So if anybody wants to put this fucking psychopath in his fucking place, I can send you guys the fucking messages that he sent um, to Nadia that... You know, I can tell you guys what he said to me. I can send you guys screenshots if you guys want that. But, you know, I'm sick and tired of motherfuckers like this. Acting like they're big and bad. Like, dude, I'm supposed to be chilling out. And I'm supposed to be fucking training for next week. Okay? Because next Thursday is when I go from being a prof- an amateur gamer to a professional gaming style racer. Okay? So I'm sitting here. I'm going to be going up against some of the best in the fucking world. So, you know, I need to be ready for this. All right, because this could kick my YouTube career to where I wouldn't even have to worry about money. This could seriously do that for me. So I've been busting my ass training all day, all night, as much as I fucking can. When I'm not doing dishes or spending time with my family and watching wrestling or whatever... I'm usually busting my ass training. I'm usually practicing non-fucking stop while I'm on Facebook. And so, you know, like, while I'm waiting for a race to start or whatever, or I'm waiting for whatever to load, like, in between loading screens, I'll sit there and I'll fucking text people. By the way, Shout out to Bark's Root Beer Cream Soda, man. This shit's the bomb. If y'all have not tried it yet, do it. You will not regret it. It's it's the bomb. Mm. Man, that's good stuff. But yo. Christopher Tuttleworth, you want to talk shit about me? You better be prepared to back it up. Because honestly, you're nothing but a coward. You took those pictures and then you used them to blatantly attack me. And attack my family. What? I don't even fucking know you. I've never met you before in my fucking life. And yeah, you can say whatever you want about me. I don't care. But when you attack my family, my literal immediate family, my blood family, that's when we have issues, my dude. You attacked me. You attacked my family. And then you fucking chicken out like a fucking coward. And then turn around and say you didn't do it. Well, we all know the truth, dude. You fucking did it. I saw the screenshots. I saw everything. And you don't think that I can put an end to you just because you're, you know, some kind of music business person? Dude, I don't give a fuck who you are or what you do in the music industry. You belong in a fucking padded cell. And everyone knows it but you. So you know what? Instead of putting your ass in a padded cell, I am going to lyrically and verbally bury you. Anything I can't do it, try me, dude. You don't fucking know me. You don't know what I can do to you lyrically. And if you think I'm playing around, and if you think this is some sort of threat, this is not a threat. This is not something that I can get in trouble for. 
You attacked my family. That gives me every fucking right and reason to retaliate. And you know what? It's about time I fucking did. You know, most of the time I keep quiet about this shit. But you know what? No more. You're the one I'm jumping out on. You're the one that I'm fucking burying. Like I said, attack me all you want. I don't give two shits. But you attack my family directly, you're asking for trouble. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lyrically bury this stupid fucker, put him back in the fucking padded cell wrongs, and then I'm going to get back to training. So, yeah, I will catch you guys in a minute. I need to handle this guy and fucking bury this guy and put him where he belongs. I need to put this guy in his grave. So I'll see you guys later, man.